Hey guys, Miss Dragon here, and today we're going to be starting a new game. So we're going to be playing Dragon Age Inquisition, finally continuing on our uh, Dragon Age series. So, let's start a new game. So my plans are to play as an elven mage, female. Um, I'm going to romance Solus, and we are going to support the mages. So, let's choose our background. So we're choosing the elf, and we're going to choose the mage class here. And we will just play on normal difficulty. So we are a Dalish apprentice. Enslaved long ago by humans, most elves still live as second-class citizens within human cities. Elves who reject the life are known as the Dalish. Nomadic wanderers who strive to keep the ancient elven religion and traditions alive. You grew up in the wilderness, a member of the Lavellan Dalish clan, an apprentice to its leader and guide, the Keeper. The clan wandered the northern free marches, and you had little need to interact with humans, until the Keeper sent you to the Chantry's Conclave as a spy. What happened there, she said, would impact not only the Dalish, but indeed all elves. She could not have known how right she was. Alright. So, we are going to import a custom world state. So, we've imported our world state. This imports all the choices we have made in the previous games. We should be moving into the... I think we're going right into the customization menu. So, my plan for this series is it's going to be longer. Uh, I'll probably do longer videos. Uh, I don't know how much cutting of stuff I'm gonna do. Kinda wing it as I go. Uh, also, I should note, I do have some mods installed, but they're mostly just cosmetic. So it's not gonna affect much. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna create my character, and I will see you guys after that. Okay, so here is our character. <laughs> so we're gonna name her... Dragon. Alright. Let's accept and begin. She looks so angry. <laughs> so this hairstyle is a modded hairstyle. Because otherwise, I, the majority of the hairstyles in these games are pretty damn ugly. I have to be honest. So, I find it better to always at least mod in one hairstyle that you like. So you can create a character that you actually like. These ugly ass spider things. Oof. Then we pass out. Let the adventure begin. How exciting. I really do love this game though. Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. Okay. So we're gonna say that's horrible. What do you mean everyone is dead? Explain this. I can't. 
What do you mean, you can't? I don't know what that is, or how it got there. You're lying! We need her, Cassandra. We're gonna be all sad. All those people. I can't believe it. All those people. Dead. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember... Running. Things were chasing me and then... A woman? A woman? She reached out to me, but then... Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I will take her to the rift. What did happen? It... will be easier to show you. Yes. To show you the devastation that occurred. Call it the Breach. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the Breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. Let's see here. How could it stop this? You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. You still think I'm guilty? You still think I did this? To myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is. And you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. If I can help, I will. I understand. Then... I'll do what I can. Whatever it takes. They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves. As she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be okay. tested on something smaller than the breach. Uh... Okay, yeah, I just have to remember the controls because I'm really not used to the PC controls. I usually play this on console, so. Uh, you can strafe. And D. Okay, so this is. Right. Okay. <laughs> All things in this world are finite. Open the gate! We are heading into the valley! Alright. Off we go. So, oh, hey, uh, my can- oh, hang on. Give me a second here, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put myself in this corner for a while. I didn't realize the map was in the bottom. I don't know why I thought it would be in the top. I might be moving myself again later, but for now, 
we're gonna be down here. So much suffering. God, our face the is so dumb looking. are coming faster now. <laughs> uh, yes. Let's go, the Cassandra. The, grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Everything farther in the valley was laid waste, including the Temple of Sacred Ashes. I suppose you'll see soon enough. Yes. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we exhausted her uh, dialogue before we moved on here because we are going to, yes, do this. <laughs> Alright, battle tutorial. Stay behind me. We finally get a weapon. Not that mages need them, but. Okay. Press R to attack. Yeah, if you hold it, you do a continual attacks, so I think... One down. It's over. Drop your weapon. Now! <laughs> uh, so, if we say this, it's upset Cassandra, but I'm gonna say it anyways. Do you really think I need a staff to be dangerous? Is that supposed to reassure me? <laughs> I haven't yes. used my magic on you yet. <sighs> You're right. Sorry, I just like that response. You don't need a staff. I'm sorry, but Cassandra. But you should have one. I cannot protect you. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Yeah. I did. All right. Take uh, these potions. Maker knows what we will face. Yeah, we're good. Where we don't need to. Soldiers? You guys don't need to see those. We can still see them. Fighting. We are on our own for now. All right. So let's adjust this camera angle. Uh, how do I? Okay. Oh goodness. How do I do this? Uh, take all. Press I to open your inventory to examine your loot and equip items. Yes, so we have stuff. Uh, let's throw that on. Nothing extraordinary right now, obviously. How do I go back? That. No accessories. No upgrades. Okay. So now we have to fight our way to the rift. Pick up random stuff on the way. Not that I remember where all this random- actually, what is it? Tap? It's not tap. It's tap? I don't know. I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> uh, yeah. We don't need to watch that. So basically, gathering resources will allow you to craft things. Uh, whether it's potions potion upgrades, um, or equipment. <laughs> like, what the heck is it called? So our abilities yeah, are down here out. on the bottom. If we flank them, we may gain the advantage. Did I just see... Oh, hang on. Let me grab this loot. Uh, tab to lock the camera on your current target. Great. We can also jump in this game. Is there not a shortcut for picking up items? F. 
Thank you. And F is take all. Okay. I just, yeah, don't like using the camera to loot things. The camera button, it's annoying. And some elf fruit. And we can move forwards. All right. Up on the hill. It attacks from a distance. What does this do? Flash fire. I don't know what that does actually. Ah yes, that attack. Okay. Okay, so now we need to keep going. Keep on pushing forwards. And picking things up. Ah, they're falling from the breach! It's fine, don't worry, children. It's all good. Where did they come down? Where's my map? Okay, they're on that side. <laughs> Can you guys back off? Set you on fire. We're good. It's all good. We're fine. We're fine. We don't need healing yet. We do need to have a little search around here. See if... Well, we'll just wander up this way and around. I would do too much scouting around. Um, we're just kind of looking for anything useful. Right now we're just picking up money, so... It's not a big deal. It's okay if we missed some things here and there, but... Okay, nothing. So let's head up these stairs and continue forwards. We're getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Yes. Who's fighting? Um, you You'll see soon. We must help them. Okay, so now we get to meet some new allies. Yay! How exciting! Some of my favorite people are about to show up. Oh, I actually have to- hang on. I got in too close. <laughs> Alright, it's Varric! I missed you, Varric. And Solus. Our, everyone's favorite egghead, Solus. What did you do? Oh man. I did nothing. The credit is yours. I love him. Anyways. <laughs> uh, so I can help. At least this is good for something. Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. You theorize, huh? Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. Mm -hmm. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. Varric Tethras. Rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're at the Chantry. 
Are you with the Chantry, or...? <laughs> Was that a serious question? <laughs> Technically, I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. <laughs> We're gonna say... Pleased to meet you. It's good to meet you, Varric. You may reconsider that stance in time. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll become great friends in the valley, Chuckles. Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. <laughs> My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. Uh, you know about the mark? You seem to know a great deal about it all. Solus like likes you. when we ask questions. Solus is an apostate. <laughs> Technically, all mages are now apostates, Cassandra. My travels have allowed me to learn much of the Fade. Far beyond the experience of any circle mage. I came to offer whatever help I can give with the breach. If it is not closed, we are all doomed, regardless of origin. Yes. Uh, I guess that's... No, what do I want to say to Solus? And when this is over? And what will you do once this is over? One hopes those in power will remember who helped, and who did not. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is a mage, but I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. So are we, Varric. <laughs> oh, man. All right, this so... Way, down the bank. Yeah, yeah the but... The road ahead is blocked. We, we have must to do move some quickly. Moving. Okay, I got a new staff, which fire damage, it's somewhat better, so we'll equip it. And we can jump in this game as I've already shown you guys. Okay, I'm gonna jump down here, because there's some loot. Uh, am I still? Yeah, we're good. Uh, one second here. Demons ahead. Glad you brought me now, Seeker. Uh, we haven't entered battle yet, guys. Calm down. All right. More enemies. Let us fight. So I think we're gonna get another tutorial in a few seconds here. I'm gonna move up here and fight from up top. Alright, so we have tactical camera, T, to enter, and then you can tell everybody what to do. This will come in handy in certain battles, but in the beginning it's really not a big deal. What am I attacking here? So we're just gonna attack. Alright, let's see what they got. Shadow Essence. Um, there is some stuff over here. And then we're gonna wander over the other way and do some more looting. Inquisition is a pretty open world game, so there's a lot you can do. A lot you can explore and look at and stuff, so. Alright, so that's stuff for making equipment. I can get around here. Silver bracelet. I believe that's junk. Nothing on that side. 
and bear traps. Nothing on that side. Jump down. And nothing over here, as far as I can see. So now we're going to wander over to this burning building, and then we're going to wander over here this way. Because there's some stuff we want to pick up. So, I believe I can get in this way here to pick up some stuff. Here we go. Alright, uh, Aquamarine I believe is just something you can sell for money. Money is always a good thing to have because you will need it if you want to buy things. Especially if you want to collect all the mounts and stuff, then you're going to need money. Among other things. So if we go over this way, I believe there's a... What is it called? A power amulet or something over here? I think it's Ferrix. I am not attacking. There we go. Alright, this uh, also fighting like these optional battles is good because you can level up a little quicker. Um, which will help later on. Oh, it's a life ward. It's a life ward amulet. I thought it was, uh. Oh, I thought it was Varix. So we're actually getting equipped that because it uh, keeps us from dying, basically. Basically, that's a very simple explanation. So now we are going to head back. You are Dalish, oh. but clearly away from the rest of your clan. Did they send you here? What do you know of the Dalish? I have wandered many roads in my time and crossed paths with your people on more than one occasion. Uh, crossed paths. What do you mean by crossed paths? I mean that I offer to share knowledge. Only to be attacked for no greater reason than their superstition. Can't you elves just play nice for once? <laughs> yes. Solus is not Dalish. I will just tell you that right now. I guess it's kind of a spoiler, but not really. Because if you tell him uh, the first option, that they're his people too, he basically says, uh, no they're not. Like, we're nothing alike. That kind of thing, so. I know it's difficult, but we must keep moving. Yes, yes. Let us keep pushing forwards. Think there's so, something. So, are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. <laughs> it's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. <laughs> Here's the outfit. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I think... Oh, there's something over here. I can see the purse, the money bag. And there's some iron up here, too. It's never uh, bad to have too many resources in this game. Because you will need them if you want to... Like I said before, if you want to um, craft stuff. Which crafting will help you a lot because you can craft better equipment, better weapons. Um, you can upgrade potions. We're gonna go up to this guy first. Which will just make, you know, your overall gaming experience a lot easier for certain battles and such. Alright, 
that yes, that is everybody. I hope Liliana made it through all this. She's resourceful, Seeker. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there. Yes. Kind of. <laughs> um Okay. Another rift. We must seal it. Quickly. They keep coming. Help us. All right, well, I'm being attacked. Guys here. I think I should be able to. So with rifts, you need to disrupt them to pretty much destroy them. Hurry! Um, Use the mark. Once it hits a certain point, yes, uh, you can close the rift. Basically. Okay. See, there we leveled up. Uh, so. Pee. The rift is gone. Open the gate. Right away, Lady Cassandra. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. Yes. Alright, so I... Which one is healing? I'm pretty sure Spirit is the one we're going to start with. Yeah, I'm going to start with Spirit. Um, because there is healing in here. And some... Yes, quiet. And barrier is good too, so... Yes, so... Okay. So Barrier will be another three, so let's go back and continue on. Um, supply caches basically just refill our potions. I should loot this. Morning Star, so we got a new mace. I think Cassandra. How do I switch between? I have no idea. Um da 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 da. So Morning Star is better than her sword, so we're gonna throw that on. And then let me go to Where is Solus? Solus. Yeah, you're good. Alright. Hello. Ah. Here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who she is. Do you know? As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the most holy, Chancellor. As you well know. Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. So, let's go. What about the breach? Isn't closing the breach the more pressing issue? You brought this on us in the first place! Did I know? Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now. Before more lives are lost. How do you think we should proceed? <laughs> you're asking my opinion? No, you're asking me what I think. You have the mark. And you are the one we must keep alive. Since we cannot agree on our own, so basically, charge with the soldiers, you'll meet Cullen, uh, and you'll just do a whole fight sequence. Take the mountain path, you can go around and find, um, 
the scouts that went missing. So I'm gonna take the mountain path. Use the mountain path. It Work pretty much together. You all know what's at stake. I don't think there's really Liliana, much of a difference everyone aside the from everyone. going the other way you meet Colin and then just the approval and disapproval your head system. Be so. the consequences, seeker. Yes. Cause I don't think finding the scouts actually does anything. But honestly, I don't remember because I never paid attention to this. Uh you know. The major consequences of whatever taking each path, so. Alrighty, let's climb this ladder. The tunnel should be just ahead. The path to the temple lies just beyond it. What manner of tunnel is this? A mine? Part of an old mining complex. These mountains are full of such paths. And your missing soldiers are in there somewhere? Along with whatever has detained them. We shall see soon enough. Yes. Yes, we shall. Alrighty, so let's head inside and fight some enemies. Area of effect allows you to target groups. Yep. So using this, we can throw up a barrier around multiple um, allies and ourselves, or for ourselves. So anyone within the area, of course. Uh, they don't last very long usually. Where's my mouse? Hang on. Oh, there it is. I hate when I lose my mouse. Oops. That was a waste. What did I just do? Okay, well, anyways. Let's have a peek here. Guys, you're in my way. Pushing forwards. Sometimes you can find things. And sometimes there's absolutely nothing, so that's exciting. Oh, we should go in here. I think, uh... Bear, bear. No. I think there's a shield in here. Yes, I did remember correctly. Also, you know, if we want, we can light this. There's really no point. Um, but I am going to check Cassandra here. And we are going... Griffin shield. Yeah, we're gonna equip the shield to her. So the stiletto is a dagger for the rogue class so she can't no one uh very no yeah no one can use it right now because varric's bianca only he will not use any other weapons other than bianca so which means you can upgrade bianca um with different parts and such Yes, I am going the right way. I wasn't sure. Look at that view. It's crazy. All 
All right. Out we go. Back outside into ah. the cold. Guess we found the soldiers. That cannot be all of them. So the others could be holed up ahead. Our priority must be the breach. Unless we seal it soon, no one is safe. I'm leaving that to our elven friend here. I'll do my best, guys. Just leave it to me. Mm, nothing there. All right. All right. Let us seal the rift. So, as long as you're not being attacked, um, you can disrupt the rift. Lady once. Cassandra! Lieutenant! You're, you're alive! Just barely. So, if an enemy attacks you while you're disrupting the rift, um, it will stop you. And you have to be careful of these guys, because they like to. So when there's enemies active and you disrupt the rift, like, successfully, it'll actually stun them. So, sometimes it's always good to just kind of disrupt it as quickly as you can, or as soon as you can. Sealed, as before. You are becoming quite proficient at this. Thank you, Solus. Let's hope it works on the big one. <laughs> yes. Thank the Maker you finally arrived, Lady Cassandra. I don't think we could have held out much longer. Thank our prisoner, Lieutenant. She insisted we come this way. The prisoner? Then you... Hmm. It was worth the risk. It was worth saving you. If we could. Then you have my sincere gratitude. The way into the valley behind us is clear for the moment. Go, while you still can. At once. Quickly, let's move! The path ahead appears to be clear of demons as well. Let's hurry before that changes. Yes. Let us loot first. Down the ladder. That's the way to the temple. Very resistant cowl. Okay. And forward, forward ho. <laughs> now we must climb down the ladders. Not fall down them, though I don't think we'd take much damage. It's not a big fall. Do we take fall damage so, in this game? Holes in the fade don't just accidentally happen, I don't, right? I don't if remember. If enough magic is brought to bear, it is possible. But there are easier ways to make things explode. That is true. We will consider how this happened once the immediate danger is past. Yes. Yes, we will. All right, here we are. So we're gonna do some looting before we. The Temple of Sacred Ashes. What's left of it? That is where you walked out of the Fade, and our soldiers found you. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Yes. So, if you take the other path, I'm pretty sure you just come from over here, so. But, yes. But there was loot down here. Maybe I was wrong. I don't see anything. Ah, it's fine. Whatever. Oh, here it is. Found it. Uh, Templar helmet. Let me just see here.
There she is. The breach is a long way up. You're here. Thank the Maker. Liliana, have your men take up positions around the temple. This is your chance to end this. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's go, I'll try. I'll try. But I don't know if I can reach that, much less close it. No. This rift was the first, and it is the key. Seal it, and perhaps we seal the breach. Then let's find a way down. And be careful. Yes. Let's. Now is the hour of our victory. Bring forth the sacrifice. What are we hearing? At a guess, the person who created the breach. And it ain't me, cause I ain't got no deep voice like that. You know this stuff is Red Lyrium Seeker. I see it, Beric. But what's it doing here? Magic could have drawn on Lyrium beneath the temple. Corrupted it. <sighs> it's evil. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Hmm. <laughs> Unless you want to be cursed. Someone! Help! 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 was your voice. Most holy called out to you, but... What's going on here? Run while you can! Warn them! We have an intruder. Slay the elf. And the Divine, is she? Was this vision true? What are we seeing? I don't remember. Echoes I lost my memories. The Fade bleeds into this place. This rift is not sealed, but it is closed. Albeit temporarily. I believe that with the mark, the rift can be opened. And then sealed properly and safely. However, opening the rift will likely attract attention from the other side. That means demons! Stand ready! Alright, so this is our first major battle, which it can be a pain in the butt. If you're not careful. Let us begin. No! So, I'm going to pull out, pull back here. I'm going to target. And, uh, we must rift. strip its defenses. Wear it down. Hang on. So, the easiest way to strip its defenses is to disrupt the rift, it'll send a shockwave out, stun it, and break the, demon is the um, no. break the barrier. And then you just attack, and you just keep doing that uh, until it's dead. Uh, one thing though is that lesser shade demons will come out and attack, so you just have to keep an eye on that. 
Alright, so I think... Yeah. Alright, I think I'm being targeted, so I just need to back out. See if I can get it to back off. We're not gonna disrupt. So I'll just have to get rid of these little guys here and then oh, he's coming. Uh, so I am going to move out of this spot, move to the other side, and disrupt the rift. I should be clear. And then if it will disrupt, that's the other thing, you have to be in like the perfect spot to get it to work sometimes. And now we attack. If I can find my attack key. Basically, if you can oh my goodness, if you can avoid getting attacked here, um, you can pretty much beat this battle pretty quickly. So these little guys come out. Pain in the butt. Okay, where is he? Oh, he's coming. All right, I gotta see what's going on here. I think I'm safe. As long as I don't get- oh no. Yeah, okay. Let me- I'm just a little bit stunned. Ah, stop it! Okay. Come on, disrupt. Now I'm gonna get hit. Come on! <laughs> We're just about done here, so... Heal them. We can just get a few more hits in here quickly. It will die before it re-does it. There we go. Now! Seal the rift! Do it! Yes, I am. There we are, we have successfully, temporarily, closed the rift, sort of? It's not fully closed, obviously. But, you know. Oh yeah, I modded the, uh, um, outfit for the home area, we'll call it, I guess. Haven. I almost called it Skyhold. We're not there yet. Oh. Hi. I didn't know you were awake. I swear. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I only... I beg your forgiveness and your blessing. I am but a humble servant. You are back in Haven, my lady. They say you saved us. The breach stopped growing, just like the mark on your hand. It's all anyone has talked about for the last three days. Then we're safe. Then the danger is over. The breach is still in the sky, but that's what they say. I'm certain Lady Cassandra would want to know you've wakened. She said, at once. And where is she? In the Chantry, with the Lord Chancellor, at once. She said. Yes, at once. <laughs> okay, let's do some looting here. What do we got? Don Lotus and Elfruit. 
Special, yes, my special sh shipments. So I have a bunch of DLC. I actually, I think I have all the DLC, so I'm gonna be getting a lot of stuff. So let's read this letter. Patient observations. Vain hope. Someone better at this than me. Oh my god, I can't read. Okay. Someone better at this than me takes over before the survivor expires. Notes in case. Day one. Clammy, shallow breathing, pulse over fast. Not responsive, pupils dilated. Mage says her scarring mark is thrumming with unknown magic. Wish we could station a Templar in here just in case. Yes. Uh, okay. Let's go find Cassandra, I guess. I was gonna stop here, but maybe I'll just do a little more. I'm having a little exploration. That's her. That's the Herald of Andraste. Yes, the Herald of Andraste. Why did Lady Cassandra have her in chains? I thought Seekers knew everything. I believe Seeker Cassandra would like to speak with you. Cool, thanks for <laughs> informing me. That's her. She stopped the breach from getting any bigger. I heard she was supposed to close it entirely. Patient observations day three. Less thrashing, some response to stimulus. Vitals seem solid. Two attempts so far by locals to break into the chantry to kill my patient. All this work to save her life, and will they just execute her? We'll inform Lady Cassandra. I expect her to wake before the morn. Still a lot of rifts left on the Yeah. So we're gonna just, uh, look around here a bit, because I may as well. Sealing those rifts. Thanks. Can't go in there. Can't go up there. Oh yeah, they block you from going a bunch of places, because they don't want you to... They want you to follow a set path. Except I think I can sneak this way. Yeah, so I can sneak through this way. So we're gonna go in here, because there should be more notes. Somewhere. There's something. The Randy Dowager Quarterly. A well-worn quarterly missive of suspect virtue. The Randy Dowager welcomes the cool of autumn with the fall of another. The collected dreams of desire being the confessions of an apprentice and training more furrowing than harrowing. Forbidden dalliances at their most spirited. The Randy Dowager exhibitions for the noble of thought, but spry of step. The lady herself says enchanting one supports the circles. If only because closed doors offer the imagination more... Uh, three scarves sluttered in shock out of five RD. That was freaking weird, but okay. <laughs> Whatever. We are going to go in here. Where's note two? I think it's, uh... I think it's in here. Probably. Hello, Adon. I believe Lady Cassandra wanted to speak with you. Yes, of course. Let's loot this. Okay, here we go. Uh, patient observations, day two. Pulse normal, breathing normal, still unresponsive. Careful drop feed of prep. Uh, out fruit extract to hasten her recovery. A lot of thrashing mutters about too many eyes. Something about the gray. Encouraging? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Too many eyes, huh? Is there anything? Oh, some elf fruit. And more elf fruit. Chancellor Roderick says that their chantry wants nothing to do with us. I think she's just gonna tell me that Cassandra's not taking orders right now. 
Got a problem with it? Bring it up with Cassandra. Or that, you can tell me that too, that's fine. Okay, well, let's head into the chantry. Shall we? Most of the Grand Clerics have died at the Conclave. Who will lead us now? The Fade. The study of the Fade is as old as humankind. For so long as men have dreamed, we have walked its twisting paths. Sometimes catching a glimpse of the city at its heart. Always as close as our own thoughts, but impossibly separated from our world. The Deventer Imperium once spent vast fortunes of gold, lyrium, and human slaves in an effort to map the terrain of the Fade, an, ultima an ultimately futile endeavor. Although portions of it belong to powerful spirits, all of the Fade is in constant flux. The Imperium succeeded in finding the disparate and ever-shifting realms of a dozen demon lords, as well as cataloging cataloging a few hundred types of spirits before they were forced to abandon the project. The relationship of dreamers to the Fade is complex. Even when entering the Fade through the use of lyrium, mortals are not able to control or affect it. The spirits who dwell there, however, can, and as the Chantry teaches us, the great flaw of the spirits is that they have neither imagination nor ambition. They create what they see through their sleeping visitors. Building elaborate copies of our cities, people, and events, which, like the reflection in a mirror, ultimately lack context or life of their own. Even the most powerful demons merely plagiarize the worst thoughts and fears of mortals and build their realms with no other ambition than to taste life. From Tranquility and the Role of the Fate in Human Culture by First Enchanter uh, Jos Josephus. We'll go with that. Probably won't read like every codex we find, but I'll read a couple here and there. He should be taken to Val Royal immediately. Ooh, there's something here. A chat for the departed. The light shall lead her safely through the past of this world and into the next. For she who trusts in the maker of fire is her water. As the moth sees light and goes toward flame, she should see fire and go towards light. The veil holds no uncertainty for her, and she will know no fear of death. For the maker shall be her beacon and her shield, her foundation and her sword. Transfigurations 10-1, often sung by mourners as they light candles. I do not believe she is guilty. So we're going to go down here, do a little bit of looting. Pick up some stuff. Read some more stuff. Chantry Hierarchy. The Divine is the titular head that's such a weird word head of the chantry although since the schism split the imperial chantry into its own faction there are now in fact two divines at any one time one divine informally called the white divine is a woman housed in the grand cathedral in Val royal the other known as the black divine is a man housed in the agent spire in mithra minrathis argent 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 spire not agent <laughs> Neither divine recognized the existence of the other, and the informal names are considered sacrilegious. No matter the gender, a divine is addressed as most holy or your perfection. Beneath the rank of divine is the grand cleric. Each grand cleric presides over numerous chantries and represents the highest religious authority for their region. They travel to Val Royal when the College of Clerics convenes, but otherwise remain where they are aside, all Grand Clerics are addressed as your grace. Beneath the Grand Cleric is the Mother or the Imperial Chantry, or in the Imperial Chantry, the Father. If a Mother is in charge of a particular Chantry, Revered is appended to her title. These are the priests responsible for administering to the spiritual well-being of their flock. A mother or revered mother is addressed as your reverence. Brothers and sisters from the rank and file of the Chantry and consist of three main groups, affirmed, initiates, and clerics. Affirmed are the lay brethren of the Chantry, those regular folk who have turned to the Chantry for succor. Often they are people who have led a difficult or ir irreligious life and have chosen to go into seclusion or even orphans and similar unfortunates who are raised into Chantry life. 
The firm take care of the chantry and are in turn afforded a life of quiet contemplation. No questions asked. Only those folk who take vows become initiates. These are men and women in training, whether in academic knowledge or the martial skills of a warrior. All initiates receive an academic education, although only those who speak to become Templars learn how to fight in addition. Clerics are the true academics of the Chantry. Those men and women who have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of knowledge. They are often found in Chantry archives, sages presiding over libraries of books and arcane knowledge. The most senior of these clerics placed in charge of such archives are given the title Elder, although such a rank is still beneath that of Mother. All other brothers and sisters are addressed simply by noting their title before their name, such as Brother Genitivi, from a guide for ambassadors from Ray Vane. That is a lot of reading. And there's another one over here. Oh my goodness. Founding of the Chantry. Oh, my voice is going. Cordelus Draken, king of the city-state of Orlais, was a man of uncommon ambition in the year 15 ancient. The young king began construction of a great temple dedicated to the maker, and declared that by its completion he would not only have united the warring city-states of the south, he would have brought Andros Androstian belief to the world. In, I guess it's probably read as minus three ancient? The temple was completed. There, in its heart, Draken knelt before the eternal flame of Andraste and was crowned ruler of the Empire of Orlais, his first act as emperor to declare the Chantry as the established Andrastean religion of the Empire. It took three years and several hundred votes before Olesa of Montsimmerd was elected to lead the new Chantry. Upon her coronation as divine, she took the name Justinia in honor of the disciple who recorded in Draste's song. Oh my goodness. In that moment, the ancient era ended and the divine age began. From Ferelden Folklore and History by Sister Petrine, Chantry Scholar. I see some looting. Scout male legs. I think that was a blueprint. So we cannot go in here because we one do not have a key. And can I lockpick? So if you're a rogue, you can go in there and lockpick and find stuff. Um, same with this one. And that one. So, we can loot this. And now we shall head back up because there's nothing else that we can actually do down here. And there's two more rooms we're going to look into and then we will continue on with the story. And, oh, more reading. Yay. <laughs> the Maker. There was no word for heaven or for earth, for sea or sky. All that existed was silence. Then the voice of the Maker rang out, the first word, and his word became all that might be. Dream and idea, hope and fear, endless possibilities. And from it made his firstborn. And he said to them, In my image I forge you. To you I give dominion over all that exists. By your will, may all things be done. Then, in the center of heaven, he called forth a city with towers of gold, streets with music for cobblestones, and banners which flew without wind. There he dwelled, waiting, to see the wonders his children would create. The children of the Maker gathered before his golden throne, and sang hymns of praise unending, but their songs were the songs of the cobblestones. They shone with the golden light, reflected from the Maker's throne. They held forth the banners that flew on their own. And the voice of the Maker shook the fade, saying, In my image I have wrought, my firstborn. You have been given dominion over all that exists. By your will all things are done. Yet you do nothing. The realm I have given you is formless, ever-changing. And he knew he had wrought amiss. So the Maker turned from his firstborn and took from the Fade a measure of its living flesh and placed it apart from the spirits and spoke to it, saying, Here I decree, oppos 
opposition in all things for earth sky for wind for winter summer for darkness light by my will alone is balance sundered and the world given new life and no longer was it formless ever changing but held fast immutable with words for heaven and for earth sea and sky at last did the maker from the living world make men immutable as the substance of the earth with souls made of dream and idea hope and fear endless possibilities then the maker said to you my second born i grant this gift in your heart shall burn an unquenchable flame all consuming and never satisfied from the fade i crafted you and to the fade you shall return each night in dreams that you may always remember me and then the maker sealed the gates of the golden city and there he dwelled waiting to see the wonders his children would create canticle of Thren Threnides, five one to eight. Man, it's been a long time since I read this stuff. And we have more. <laughs> There's more to read. Wait, I have research. Oh, maybe no. I believe Hi. Sister Pentagast was looking for you. Okay. I don't know why she's turning purple. Okay, the children of Andraste. There are many misconceptions regarding Andraste's bloodline, Monsieur. This is due, I should think, to a general lack of knowledge regarding Andraste's mortal life. Understandable, considering the many cults that arose following her death. Everyone sought to claim Our Lady for their own culture, or claimed some aspect of her existence was a lie. All of them complete fabrications. My order has done considerable research to as ascertain the truth. We all know Andraste and the betrayer raised five children. The eldest three were sons, Isarath, Evrion, and Verald. The rule of what was once southern to Vinter was split among them. Isarath was given the west, what is today Orlais. Evrion was given the east, what is today the Free Marches. Verald was given the central Planison, what is today Navarra. What became of these men and their legacies is the stuff of legend, and the majority of claimants to Andraste's bloodline link back to one of them. None of the three sons, however, were born of Andraste. They were given of the betrayer's concubine, uh, Gilavan? Gilavane? People choose to overlook the fact that Andraste came from the Alamari tribesmen, and that they were barbarians, not the Ferelden's we know today. They were savage warriors who took concubines in addition to their wives, and because Andraste was thought to be too weak to bear children, the betrayer took Gilavan to provide him heirs, which she did. After her death, the sons were raised as Andraste's own. Later in life, Andraste proved predictions wrong and had two daughters by the betrayer, Ebris and Vivial. They were kept out of the public eye and not permitted to marry, though both had consorts. Ebris had but one child, Ali Vimar, who perished on a voyage to Denerim, less than a month after her mother fell to plague, and without children of her own. The younger daughter, Vivial, was more controversial, a strong-headed woman who defied her family by falling in love with a mage of Tevinter, uh, Regulan. Vivial and Regulan went into self-imposed exile as the exalted march began, and into hiding following Andraste's betrayal and murder. What became of Vivial and her descendants is largely unknown for one primary reason. She had only daughters. Each of those daughters only had daughters. They married into other families and took other names, and in the chaos of the Second Blight, all traces of survivors were lost. Andraste's true bloodline, if it exists, lies solely in the descendants of Vivial, and the suspicion of my order is that it produces only daughters. Thus, the claims of your young ma young man, Monsieur, are highly suspect. From a letter by Sister Galena of the Augustin, Augustin Order, Dragon 912. 
So remember in Dragon Age Origins how we encountered that dragon cult which kept calling the dragon Andraste? Yeah. That was one of the cults that sprung up. Alright. Hello everybody, I have arrived. I want her prepared for travel to the capital for trial. Yeah, okay. Disregard that and leave us. You walk a dangerous line, Seeker. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did what I could. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Yet you live. A convenient result insofar as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. Someone was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone Most Holy did not expect. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. I am a suspect? You, and many others. <laughs> but not the prisoner. I heard the voices in the temple. The Divine called to her for help. So her survival, that thing on her hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. Uh, okay, so... Let's go. I am not a chosen one. You realize I'm an elf. A Dalish elf. I have not forgotten. No matter what you are or what you believe, you are exactly what we needed when we needed it. The breach remains, and your mark is still our only hope of closing it. This is not for you to decide. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the Divine, granting us the authority to act. As of this moment, I declare the Inquisition reborn. Huzzah. We will close the breach, <laughs> we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader, no numbers, and now no Chantry support. But we have no choice. We must act now, with you at our side. Huzzah! Let's investigate. Uh, the Inquisition of Old. What is the Inquisition of Old, exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order. But the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done united under a single banner once more. What about the Chantry? But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new divine. And then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many Grand Clerics died at the Conclave. No. We are on our own. Perhaps forever. You want a holy war? You're trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy, that depends on what we discover. And if I refuse? What if I refuse? You can go if you wish. You should know that while some believe you chosen, many still think you guilty. The Inquisition can only protect you if you are with us. We can also help you. It will not be easy if you stay. But you cannot pretend this has not changed you. I want to help. If you're truly trying to restore order, that is the plan. Help us fix this before it's too late. Yay!
a little crooked, Colin. Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> leave this episode guys uh next time we will continue our adventures in dragon age inquisition i hope you all enjoyed this video thank you for watching make sure you like like subscribe and all that jazz and i will see you in the next one bye